Please turn to pages 131 through 143 for the black line masters that will create your hand sign flipbook. Before we start the flipbook, let's review. What is informational text? Follow along and chant the three parts of informational text. Introduction, body, and conclusion. Let's do the information chant. Information always has three parts. An introduction, a body, and a conclusion. In the introduction, you can hook in the reader, then introduce the big idea. That's what all the information is about. Body is full of information, information, information to tell about that big idea. Conclusion, repeat that big idea, but use different words and end with a snap. Now that we know about the three parts of informational text, let's look at the body. There's six different ways to organize the body. Let's look at the six different organizers using the hand signs. The categories organizer. Categories will inform, tell about, or report the big idea by breaking it into parts, types, kinds, things, ways, or attributes. Now let's do the categories hand sign. Categories, that's when we take the big idea and break it into parts. Tell about the big idea by taking the big idea and breaking it into parts. Description, a description describes the subject then tells the function of its parts. Now let's do the description hand sign. Draw a picture, label the parts, then tell the function of the parts. Draw a picture, label the parts, then tell the function of the parts. Sequence. Sequence explains the big idea by sequencing. How to, steps to, the cycle of, the process of, or by telling what happened. Now let's do the sequence hand sign. Beginning, end, what happened in the middle. Beginning, end, what happened in the middle. Cause and effect. Cause and effect analyzes why a change occurred or how an event happened. Now let's do the cause and effect hand sign. Before, after, what caused the change? Before, after, what caused the change? Compare is when you analyze to explain similar outcomes. Now let's do the compare hand sign. Identify the attributes, compare, then show the effect. Attributes, compare, show the effect. Contrast. Contrast to analyze the differences in order to make a judgment or decision, to explain why, or to show a change. Now let's do the contrast hand sign. Identify the attributes, contrast, then show the effect. Identify the attributes, contrast, then show the effect. The hand signs are a valuable technique for you to use once you introduce the big idea, then you need to choose an organizer. There are six different organizers. You choose the one that is going to help you organize the information to tell about the big idea. Once you choose your organizer, the hand signs will tell you how you fill in the organizer. So, big idea, choose one of the six organizers, then use the hand signs to help you fill in the organizer.